With the COVID pandemic this year, I decided that I'd work with my kids on a new project, and we decided to work on electronics together. I have a son who's already very interested in electronics, and I thought I'd work through some of that with uh, my, my oldest son. And so we started working through a book together, and by the time we got through that book and finished it, we had worked on several, many projects, and we, we worked through all the projects, and we had a pretty good understanding of the basic concepts of electronics, at least to the point where I felt comfortable making my designing and making my own project. And since I have three boys, I decided I'd make them a little game, uh, and in particular, a war game, because boys like that, and my kids are particularly interested in the Civil War. So what we have here is a prototype of one of the mechanisms for that, for that war game that I made them with electronics. And we'll come over here and we'll look at the final circuit board over here that's completed. And you can see it's just a big rat's nest of wires and it looks like a big tangled mess. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times two plus one. So we have 19 breadboards out here. And if we can take a little look in here, you can see that they're actually pretty well full. Uh, we got some capacitors here, the transistors, resistors, some basic integrated circuit chips. We have 555 timers and logic gates, but nothing any more complicated than that. Uh, each, each one of these boards is pretty well full. And with the exception of maybe the last one, which just has some resistors on it for the to plug the LEDs into. This circuit runs on five volts, which I have powered through a DC power supply here. And I do that so that uh, we don't get any um, amp spikes, uh, any current spikes that could damage the board uh, because I do get an occasional uh, short here and there when a wire falls out. So someday maybe I'll move it to a battery powered if I feel comfortable and I put a fuse in it or something. But for now a DC power circuit works best. And so over here we have the game board itself. We have a control panel for one player. We have the basic map and game board and then the control panel for the other player. It's symmetrical. Both players have the same uh, the same deal. Take a look at this map. You can see we have Stonewall Jackson here, which might indicate to you that this is a Civil War map. We have Meade, who is a, a Union general, uh, Doubleday Ricketts. So Union generals on this side, Confederates on this side. I got this map from the uh, National Archives. I was able to print this out off of, a, off of an older map. So that worked out really nice and, and mounted onto this game board here. So let's turn it on. And it comes on in a random state and we'll press reset to get the game set up for us. And now it's all ready to go. So let's take a look at how this works. We have infantry and artillery. Uh, infantry is broken into the 1st Brigade and the 2nd Brigade. And here we have the 1st Brigade up here, 2nd Brigade up here, and then we have our one artillery unit in the back here. And what that's going to do is fire. So we got the 1st Brigade on this side. Uh, they also have the first brigade on this side. So first brigade fires against first brigade, second brigade fires against second brigade, and artillery fires against kind of everybody. And we'll see how that works in a moment. Um, each brigade is broken up into three uh, command kind of units here. We have movement, difficulty, and fire orders. Movement is just moving forward or backwards. They're in the backwards position here, so they can't move back, but they can move forward. And difficulty here shows us that right now it's on hard. It's our kind of default state here at the beginning. This is our fire order, and this tells us whether we're aiming or whether we can fire at that moment. And if what we need to do is press this fire button when it's on fire, which means we'll score a hit. If we press it when it's not on fire, we'll miss. Let's give it a shot here. And we hit right away. So that light went out, this light hit light went on, and now we're reloading. And as soon as that is done reloading, and these will start blinking again and indicate that we can start firing again. Notice it comes, it starts by coming on very quickly. You gotta imagine if you just loaded your weapon and you're put up to your shoulder, it's gonna take a few seconds to settle into your aiming motion until you're ready and back to that. So that's how firing works, and our goal here is to eliminate all of the opposing regiments and brigades and regiments and, and the artillery in the back here. Uh, so if we wanna make that a little bit easier for ourselves, we'll move our troops forward. And we'll get, we'll move from hard to medium difficulty because we'll be closer to the opponent. While there, and you see this light goes on here when we move forward, and then these troops will move into their advanced positions here. While we're waiting for that, oh, see there they went up there. While we're waiting for, um, so that moved to medium difficulty. And now let's look at the artillery while that's going on here. They're unloaded right now. So we want to get them loaded so we can fire them off. So we'll press load. And now it's loading and it'll let us know when that's 
when that's uh, loaded. So while we're waiting for that to load, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's get these troops who are far back, and of course they're on medium difficulty too, because these troops are just as far from these troops as these troops are for these troops. But let's make it even easier here so you can demonstrate this, and we'll start moving them forward as well. Okay, let's see if we can score a hit here on them while they're moving. Uh, a little bit fast with that one, so we didn't get a hit there. Okay, our artillery is loaded now. Oops, I got some glue left over here. So they're loaded. And now notice these lights aren't blinking. And that's because this mechanism for firing, the artillery is different from the mechanism for firing the infantry. With the artillery, what we want to do is hold this button down and then they start blinking. And we're going to have to release that when it's on the red. So let's see if we can have luck. And we got a hit over here. And so now there's only four troops over here. And what we'll notice is that um, this artillery is random. Um, it ra hits random sides. We have lights over here, which are kind of the randomizer lights. And if the light's on, it'll hit one side. The artillery hit one side. If the light's off, it'll hit the other side. Unless, of course, there are no troops on one side, in which case it'll automatically hit the other side. Let's get these troops moved up so we're all... Oh, so you can see now these troops are advanced, these troops are advanced, and so now we're at easy. So this is an even easier one for us to hit now. So let's get that going for these troops as well. And we'll move those troops forward so we can hopefully score some more hits to demonstrate how this works. Meanwhile, this is moving very slowly now, so it should be a lot easier to get hit. And we got another hit. They're down to three troops there. Remember, of course, that this is easy on this side, and it's easy on this side. Let's see what happens if we get one more hit over here. Okay, now they're down to two troops here, so they've got severely reduced forces on that side. We're on easy here. And now, they're on medium difficulty. It's a lot harder to hit if you only have two regiments out of a brigade versus what if you have five regiments out of a brigade. So now they're at medium difficulty. Things have gotten a little bit more difficult for them. Okay, let's get some more hits here. We got a hit over here for three. And let's see if we can finish these guys off too. Okay, the light was on, showing us that we got another hit. They're down to one. So maybe at this point they get a little scared and they say, wait a second now, look at this. Um, they're, we're almost dead here. So these guys can even safely, you know, maybe even move back, right? Um, and maybe these guys choose to move back too. All right, while well, we're waiting for those guys to complete their movements, let's try to get some hits over on the second brigade side. Okay, we're good with that. Let's also get our artillery loaded, so we're ready to go with them when we want to. As these guys have moved back, this guy has now moved back as well. So now we're at hard difficulty because we're far away. And let's see where these guys are at. Uh-oh. These guys with their reduced forces aren't at hard. They're even further back. They just straight up can't fire now at all. So they're at, they're at not possible. Notice this light isn't even going back and forth now. We have one troop at this distance. Not a chance. It's going to be hard enough for these guys to hit. Let's see if we, our first brigade can get a hit here. And they did. They got their last hit here. Um, so now they moved from hard, actually, to medium. And why did they move to medium? Well, there's nobody over here, so these guys are going to start firing at these guys over here. The first brigade is going to fire at the opponent's second brigade. So that's kind of nice. It's going to be easier. They have their flank, they're shooting an enfilade, so they can even move forward here without a risk of getting hit. So we'll move them forward. Meanwhile, we'll continue. Well, let's see if we can get another artillery shot off on these guys. Let's see. Hold that down. And we did, we got another hit. They're down to one. And let's get them loaded just in case we need them. And we'll take a shot from our first brigade, who has it nice and easy against them. Now it doesn't matter if this, these guys are forward or back, um, it's gonna be an easy shot for these guys because they have their flank. So let's take one last shot. And we hit them. They are out of troops. Both brigades are totally gone. What do they have left? Just their, just their artillery there. So let's try to finish them off here. And we'll notice that when we finish them off here, we're going to get our victory light here uh, comes on. So let's take our one shot, and we might as well do that with our 
first brigade who's been so good to us and let's see if we can knock out that artillery so we expect this light to go off and our victory light to go on if we hit and sure enough there we go and that, that locks in so even if the opponent got hit at the shortly you know in the in the second after with the artillery or something that's done game's over this is locked into position this player is the victor and that can't change at this point so anyways that's the game and i'll be introducing the kids to this at christmas and we'll see if they enjoy playing that and i'll try to put up another video of, if, of them playing it um i can reset this just to show what it's like that's the whole game um thanks for watching